it's annoying my mini fridge is like partially it doesn't get cold enough like it is kind of like it's not room temp water but it's like slightly cold water and i like it like freezing cold i want it as cold i want ice cold so slightly annoying <clears throat> what do you need a mini fridge for don't you have a real one that's a dumb question mini fridge is for mini i have it in my office so i don't have to leave my office to get like water or something cold enough i see like a i need a, sli a slightly better slightly better mini fridge I don't think I'll lock the podcast. I think I haven't seen volume two yet. No spoilers. Well, I've seen part of it, but I haven't seen the newest season of the Umbrella Academy either. So no spoilers for that either. Just no spoilers at all. I muted someone on my timeline for the first time ever because they were posting constant spoilers for Stranger Things, and I was like. I, ah, what the fuck? And I, I didn't know how to like get rid of them. So I was just like, I didn't want to. And then I also, I was like, maybe I'll unfollow them. And I was like, they're going to be so upset if I unfollow them. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I, how do you do this mute? And I was like, they're going to be so upset if I unfollow them. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I, how do you do this mute thing people have been saying I do? And so then I clicked on it and I was able to mute them. So now they're going to know. Well, maybe, maybe they don't, maybe, maybe they don't notice them or maybe they do. Um, I'm turning my fan off. Are you going to unmute them? I guess. I don't know how to do that. I don't even know how to unmute them. So it's not cold. I don't know why I'm cold. I, I did. I am. <clears throat> I have seen the trailer for the new Avatar movie. It looks cool. I'm excited for it, I guess. Fan hunt update. It's just, it's it's been, it's been recorded and and done. We recorded it with them ages ago. And it was a lot of fun. Um, it should be. It, I I I'm just not giving a time because there's no point. But it it's, it exists, and it's it's there. It's complications recording it, and then complications with editing it, and then um, no, I've just been sitting on like a mostly edited video that I didn't edit. But I need to do final stuff to it. I think it's just one of those things where it's like not as exciting because it's not, it's not one, it's not like me editing it. Two, it's not like as good as like a normal video, obviously. So it's less like me getting excited for it and going to like be passionate about it or whatever. But yeah. Yeah. Bella's music video is cool. Gotta wait and see it. So, uh, I can't give any spoilers. You have to wait and see if I'm in it or how long I'm in it or what happens. No spoilers here. <clears throat> How's Pesh has been? She's been good, I think. Seems good. Seems healthy. I think. I don't know. How am I supposed to? I don't. I'm not. I'm not. You think I'm like a veterinarian? Veterinarian? Uh, she seems good. By the way, no one spoiled anything for me for for a Stranger Things. Um, I I just saw somebody posting like, and they would like tag it with like Stranger Things spoilers, and then I would like I would like avert my eyes and be like, oh my god, no! I was reading like through my timeline, and so I kept having to. I was I did that like four times in a row, and then I was like, how are there so many? And then I realized it's the same person. I was like, okay, fuck it, muted. But I'll unmute them at some point. Um, any videos coming out this month? Yes, yes, definitely. We were we had one uh, recording session scheduled for a couple days ago, but ended up um having to push it. So should record soon and be good. You can meet the words. Yeah, I I, I figure. I just, I don't know how to do that. I think they were like they were like using the same they were like purposely like putting the top tags that they wouldn't spoil anybody, but they weren't being inconsiderate. I was just being lazy. <laughs> it's not you, it's me. GeoGuess was fun. They updated stuff. I've been playing it more recently because people people that I know have been playing it more and it makes me play it. 
and then it's fun. And I'm good at it. Um, do you know how to play Yahtzee? I do. Yahtzee's fun. I used to play Yahtzee. My family, at least. Family trips. Yahtzee. No, that's Scrabble. Scrabble, you make words. Yahtzee's like, you roll dice. I don't even remember exactly how it works. You roll dice and you try and get the same, the same number on both. I think is is like your goal. Did you play Mancala? I have, but I've played it on like the iMessage game more than I've played it in person. But I have I have a board and I, I used to I got I got a board for my birthday when I was in my like board game arc when I was a chess kid, when I was in chess club. It didn't last that long, and I wasn't very good at chess, but better than the average person, or better than the average kid, probably. Well, definitely, the average kid doesn't know chess, but dream lore. I'll do some dream plushies. Soon. Soon. I also have this thing that's soon. You'll know, you'll know what that is soon. Very soon, actually. Soon. I have this cereal box here from from VidCon. <laughs> it's cool. I like the box. I think it's funny. The funniest part is like the um like I came up with the concept for like oh dreams. Like I thought it was just a, we're we're just kind of random ideas, and I thought it would be a funny kind of like it's like Cheerios, but like oh dreams. Um, but I didn't come up with the, like when it says like, try our other flavors and it says like boohoo crackers, <laughs> that's like another flavor. I didn't come up with that. that was, that was YouTube. <laughs> it's like, awesome. Okay. I like it. Let's see like high pixel parkour or something dumb, but I don't think I've been to a concert unless my memory is just failing me. Cause maybe I have, I don't think I've been to a concert though. I don't know why I'm cold. I think I know I'm cold. It's because I'm drinking. I was drinking ice water, so. No, I'm cold, but. I don't actually play the Hypixel Parkour that much. It's George who plays it all the time. He knows, like, every every trick, every skip, every, like, cheat that you do in the game. And he does, he plays it like he's just like twenty four seven just playing it, like probably like every lobby he's somehow in. He's just all, all day every day playing high pixel parkour. But why doesn't he stream it? Well, I don't know. Who do you have pinned on? You can pin on iMessage. How does that work? Hold on to the message. Oh, you can. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Wait, what? I just pinned someone. I didn't mean to. How do I... How do you unpin? What? Oh, unpin. Okay. <laughs> can you, you can pin multiple people? Oh, what? Uh... I have... Like a little widget, like an iPhone widget on my homepage. At the bottom of my homepage, I just have like my top contacts kind of like pinned to my homepage. Like not, not in iMessage though. I don't have, I didn't have it like in, in iMessage. But then if you pin, if you pin their, does, it doesn't show their message anymore, does it? Does, okay, pin. No, it doesn't. What do you mean it does? It doesn't. It doesn't show their message. You have to click on it to see their message. No, it doesn't. It pops up when they text you. So only if they're like, they text you. 
It only shows if it's unread. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if I like. I don't know if I like it. All right. I don't have anyone pinned then for now. Do you have read receipts on? No, I don't. Do you have any focus on your phone? I do. I have like sleep and just general like do not disturb and privacy and whatever. I don't know. I do know because I just bought um the sleep ring I was telling you about, but um but that's not that's different though because that's supposed to go on your 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 pointer finger and not your ring finger and it's like when i wear it on my ring finger it just slips off so obviously a size smaller probably than that um so i don't know i don't remember i think that whatever size i wear on my pointer finger is the same size ring that Sapnap wears on his ring finger. So I think that my size is probably one size smaller than this than Sapnap's. Or the same size. I don't know. I think it might be the same size actually. I don't remember. I remember we were talking about it. What is a sleep ring? Um it like it just it logs like my sleep it like checks your heart rate and shit and so then like every night i know like when i fell asleep and when i woke up and how long i was asleep and how good my sleep was and whatever it's kind of cool um i think i might be able to see what size the ring was if it's in like my email or something what size i don't know what sounds right i'm gonna guess size eight that sounds that potentially sounds I, I th for some reason I was thinking nine. I was thinking nine, but I'm thinking I have nine on my. I don't know. I don't know. I think I still have the sizing kit, actually. Or maybe bigger. You only have nine fingers. No. I don't know. I have no. I'm probably completely wrong. I don't remember. All I know is it was it was the same size as it was the same size as stuff now. Um, except for I think it was like one size smaller for my actual ring finger or something i don't fucking know i don't care what's your skincare routine um well i you see i shower um i use like a body scrub or whatever it's called it's like an ex exfoliator overall um not on my face for Rest and then for my face, I use like a moisturizer and a um a face wash. Face wash. Wait, I use a face wash and then a moisturizer, and then I have lotion as well that I sometimes choose to put on and sometimes don't, depending on the day. And then I also have. Uh, I think it's just like I actually don't know 100 what it is. it's like an extra strength something for um like acne that I don't have and I hardly use but <laughs> I have I have it it's like prescription strength whatever I don't know what it is but I have it my doctor was laughing at me he was complaining about nothing yeah i have some i have some redness my nose or something and they're just for laughing like okay do you take vitamins i do i take a i take a lot of stuff i take a lot of stuff every day because i don't do anything and i don't go outside and so i have i take a lot of <laughs> i take a lot of uh vitamins and shit it's funny someone said the sun is a dead laser I also, when I bought, like, my whatever, like, my skincare stuff, I bought, like, a sunscreen one that someone recommended. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> I haven't, haven't had to use it yet, but did, I did get that one, so it's it's there. But 
because the sun is is a deadly laser. It'll expire by the time you go out. Do they? How long does it take to expire? I assume that it wouldn't take that it wouldn't expire. That I'm so pale now. I've just slowly over the last like two and a half, three years, gotten more and more and more pale. I burn easily. But I haven't gotten burnt in a while because I don't go outside. Do you think George is more tan than you? <laughs> George doesn't leave either. I don't know. You're probably like the same. George, so I am very pale now. I'm, I'm looking at the picture of him. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm pale though. <clears throat> I've been to an escape room. I have. I've been to escape rooms before. Escape rooms are cool. I don't have a phone case, but I would, maybe I'd have one if I actually, like, went outside. You don't get paranoid of just shattering in the bathroom or off the counter. I I mean, I think the, the phones now are pretty cracked. Like, I have dropped, I, I've probably, I haven't, been, I, I, on my last, like, three phones, I haven't had a case. And I have dropped them, like, hundreds of times probably and probably like 10 plus times directly from like my ear height to tile or concrete or whatever and i've never had it crack the last phone i had crack that that broke um was like my iphone 6 which obviously at this point is from so long ago like they literally they just they i feel like you have to get really unlucky to have it break now um like the other day i was i don't remember what i was doing but i was talking to i was talking to nick in person in person and like i think it, my phone like slipped out of my hand somehow and i went to go like grab it and i like missed it i was trying to catch it and my hand going downwards and like so it like catapulted my phone further downwards like it's as if i threw my phone on the floor essentially into the tile picked it up it was perfectly fine there was nothing nothing it was fine there was nothing broken about it or anything but like the worst that's ever happened is like i think there's my like old phone had like a scratch or two on the screen it's like okay they're pretty durable now but even if i did jinx it at this point like it's just bound to have happened like even if it happened i wouldn't be that annoyed like i'd just be like yeah it sucks but like i've had i've gotten i've they haven't i've dropped them so many times over the years that it's eventually going to happen how did you choose to go to the pool or the beach? Which would, you, which would you choose? It depends what I wanted to do. I feel like probably usually the pool, but it just depends. I feel like to go if if the goal is going swimming, then it would go pool. But if the goal was like just I don't know relaxing or something, then maybe you'd go you'd go beach. Maybe I'm not like a massive fan of the beach though. To be honest, I don't like the sand. I don't like sand, and then like the ocean, it's just like water except for there's fish and shit in it like you can just swim in a pool and then like the sun burns me the sun is a deadly laser so i don't know the beach is kind of overrated it's nice for like the view it's nice it's nice if it's like a breezy day or something but the beach is overrated especially for someone who lives like by the beach it's very overrated. I feel like people that don't live by the beach, it's not it's not as overrated. Like if you live in like Michigan or something, you live in Montana. Okay, fine, the beach isn't overrated. But if you live in if you live like by the coast, then <clears throat> Chris, have you got intoxicated? No, I never drank. No alcohol. I'm a teetotaler. No, I don't wear socks to sleep. I just don't sock. That's it's just that's gross. The podcast is lagging. Fine, fine, I'll look. fine. Do you know how to drive? Yes, I'm not the best driver. But I know how to drive. My favorite tree. I don't know. Tree. I don't know. The the best ones. I remember having this conversation before. So I was like, do you put your hand on the back of the passenger seat when you reverse? In at least in Florida, you fail the driving test if you don't do that. 
who are like, oh my God, it's that's so like attractive. It's like, what? How is it attractive? You're just, you fail the test if you don't do that. It is a requirement. You don't have to, you just have to look. Well, no. You have to, you pretty much have to because you have to like have a full, you have to have like the full view or something. There's like some specific rule for it, which basically requires you to do it. So it's dumb. Do you get road rage? I am so not road rage, whatever. Like I am, I don't, I'm like the opposite. I'm so calm. I feel like it, it takes a lot to, like in terms of like actually, actually getting like angry or something. Like, I get heated over the dumb shit because it doesn't actually matter. Like I get, I get not in like, not, not on the road. I'm just saying like in general in life, like I'll get heated. I get heated over like argument. Like, Cause I get really into, I'm really passionate about everything. So I, I get heated over like arguments and stuff. But like, I don't know. In terms of real life shit, it's hard, it's hard to like make me super mad. And even if you do, I just don't really do anything. So I'm definitely not a road rager. I feel like I'm. I feel like I might instigate accidentally because of how like non road rage I am. So I remember. Uh, I don't know if I've told this story before, but I, I was an idiot, and I I don't I don't even know exactly what happened, but I ran a red light. Um, I was in the car with my sister, and um, I was like borrowing my parents' car. And I wasn't used to, I wasn't used to it. I'm pretty sure part of it as well is that I'm, I'm like my height. And so I was like scrunched up in this like small little car and it was annoying. But anyway, I ran a red light and I was able to like, I realized like as I was about to run, I saw the car is going. I was like, oh shit, I'm running this red light. I can't, if I try and like stop now, I'm probably not going to stop in time. It'll stop me in like the middle of the road and we'll get like fucking hit. And so I was like, I just have to go. I just have to keep going. Um, so I just have to keep going and like, uh, like, I don't know, redirect to be safe. And so like, I swerved like around a car and kept going. Um, I might even sped up. I don't, I don't know what I did. I just remember, okay, I need to, I, I made a decision. I was like, all right, I have to run this red light. Otherwise it's going to be fucked. Um, anyway. And then, uh, the car that I, the, like one of the cars that I like swerved around, um made was making like a, a turn at the intersection and then like came up beside me after it and um was like yelling some shit like at the window i was just ignoring him but they were like yelling some shit out the window and of course my sister's on the passenger side and so they're like yelling shit like i don't know what they're saying but they were just like yelling and saying some curse shit and blah blah, blah whatever um and i was ignoring them but then we pull up to like a stoplight and so we stopped and they're like at the stoplight with their window down going like, fuck you, blah, 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 whatever, like out the window. And I remember I just looked like looked to, at them. I gave a thumbs up and like I gave like a thumbs up and like a like a smile, like a thumbs up and a smile. And it, it is it is dumb. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I, I think I was thinking like, we're OK. Everything's fine. Um. Uh, but I gave a thumbs up and I hear the person scream, no fucking thumbs up, no fucking thumbs up, fuck you, you know, whatever, like, <laughs> at me through the window. And of course, my sister is sitting next to me and um, isn't saying anything. It's just kind of like looking, just looking ahead, like, oh, God. Um, and then uh, I just, the light turned green. I like drove, I, I pulled over into the other side and then I looked at my sister and I was like, do you want do you want to get Chick-fil-A? And she was like, yeah. And um, so I, I took her, I got Chick-fil-A and then um, like just drove home, drove her home. And like, I told my, my parents about it. And then uh, my sister was like, fine. And my mom was like, how are you fine? Like we almost like, we thought, like when I almost got in a wreck, you like freaked out and didn't want to like ride with me in the car for like months. And she was like, well, yeah, he got me Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, you know, sol solves everything. There you go. But there's my story. So, yeah, it was, it was just, uh, yeah, I was, I remember afterwards being like, holy shit. That was, it was like, it could have been very bad. It could have been a very bad, I, I think I, I've handled it well.
the road rage and the whole and just the initial the initial uh like thing but i was like holy shit that was that could have been bad i i like wasn't paying enough attention or something and i i ran a red light <clears throat> but but it was fine I ended up fine i don't know exactly the thumbs up i wasn't trying to be passive aggressive i think i was just still like in shock from the moment i was still in shock and i was like oh shit um i was thinking maybe, maybe, i don't i don't know what i was thinking i was thinking like we're, the thumbs up was like oh yeah we're okay everything's fine thumbs up you know we're i'm glad no one was hurt like that was kind of like what it was obviously the person didn't take it as that but i wasn't trying to like what am i, what am I supposed to say like i what am I supposed, I'm supposed to say um i don't know supposed to reply back like no fuck you like i'm not gonna like argue with them because on the side of the road i was like yeah i mean yeah i was an idiot that's i was the idiot today i've experienced lots of idiot drivers and it was me today i was i was the moron in this instance i think i did say i'm sorry I, I, but i don't but the thing is like, they're screaming cursing out the window i don't i don't remember all, all what i said all i do is i know i did i did it i just did a thumbs up and a smile but I handed it well. I almost gets in a car crash. Well, hey, it, after I realized that we were going to run the red light, I ha from that point on, I handled it well. Um, before that, I don't know. I don't even know. I've never done anything like that before. I, w I was I was paying attention as well. Like I was I was paying attention. I, I might have zoned out or something. I don't I don't I don't know. But I was like paying attention to the road. Um. So I don't I don't know how it happened. I I like because I was I was like in this car and I that, that was all like bunched up, and I was tall. I had. I couldn't like see as well. And so it turned red kind of as I was approaching the light probably. And then I had like for, for too long, I, I didn't realize until I saw the car was going and I was like, Oh shit, the cars wouldn't be going if it's not red. So I never actually saw the red light, but it definitely was the red light. Didn't adjust your seat. I probably didn't. And it was the first time of me driving, uh, like someone else's car. It wasn't, wasn't mine. That's the only time I really, there's only, that's like really the only time that I, uh, uh, almost got a wreck. You ever watch the Queen's Gambit? I did. That was a really good show. I liked it a lot. You're the kind of person that wouldn't know how to ride a bike. False. I've ridden many of bikes. What was the first ever memory? I don't know. How, how do you remember that? Do you call your sister Drista IRL? gonna question is that no do i call my sister trista i mean i guess technically i have but not i don't and only like obviously everything she's like been on has been like irl so technically I have but that's just that it's done how many hours of sleep do you normally get i don't know it's totally random stay awake i haven't gotten my horn no I think she said she got it though. Sylvie has it. But I will get my horn eventually. And it'll be marvelous. <laughs> Tell us about recording that bit for Tommy's live show. Um, I mean, I just recorded it. It's pretty simple. He just asked me, he gave me a little script, and I just recorded it basically first take and sent it and said, This is good. He said, Yes. My 20th birthday today. Happy birthday. What's your beverage of choice? Water. Carl. Uh, Gina, set up Quackity, please. Forget the group name. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm sure we'll play Roblox at some point. Roblox is fun. Do you snore? Eh. I mean, sometimes. I feel like very rarely. I do a lot. I do, I do some heavy breathing. But I don't, I don't feel like I don't snore. Like my, according to my sleep app, it's more just like... That's it. If I like breathe heavily, I do sleep talk though. I sleep talk every night, many times a night. You sleep in a cold room, and then and then you decide how hot you want to be based on like how much blanket you have on you. Like, okay, I'm kind of hot. All right, you slip like a foot out of your blanket or something, and then it evens out. Or it's like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm cold. You like a double blanket, or you, cr or you, yeah, you wear like yeah. You wear something extra or something. Have you purposely locked a patch out of your room before? Many occasions. 
She, I lock her out all the time. Otherwise, I lock her in, and then I go to sleep, and then she wakes me up in the middle of the night wanting to leave to go poo or something. And I can't leave, like, my door open, so. It's pretty, it's a very frequent thing. Why can't you leave your door open? I mean, I guess I could, but, like, I guess I'd just rather not. I'd rather have it closed and locked. Otherwise, like, Nick comes in and he, like, smells my toes when I sleep, and it's weird. Weird. I don't like it, so I, I gotta keep it closed. Do you see the stuffed animals? No. Don't. I don't have any. Do you know how to pogo stick? I have pogo sticked before, so not not in a long time, but I'm sure I could. Well, it is like hard like doing it for like a long time or whatever. But give me your starting word for word all. Um, pluck. There you go. Wait. Okay, that works. Um, do you crack your knuckles? I do. There you go. Well, that was just one knuckle crack. That was lame. I feel like I, I must have cracked them recently. They didn't. They didn't crack. Well, they did, but like, not much. You should post a video to keep, keep occupied. Um, yeah, should be a video soon. There should be a video soon. Um, in the next like week, hopefully, maybe. Let's see, maybe. Should be one soon. You said that a month ago. That's true. I did say that a month ago. Um. All right. Well, I'm going to end. But before I end, I I feel like I want to talk about the elephant in the room. Um, because I I don't really plan on talking about it on like YouTube or. Twitch or anything, um, especially because of there, there's it just I feel like it's tough to talk about when there's any, there's like money involved or anything. Um, so I think kind of Discord, you know, talking about it, Discord podcasts is a little um, better. I feel like in terms of just whatever. Um, so hearts, I guess. Don't have to say anything, and anyone can not listen if they don't want to. Um, obviously, uh, you know, the news with techno is really, uh, you know, it's really tough for everyone. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very fortunate to have gotten to be friends with techno and to have had a lot of awesome times with him and um you know on and off camera and um starting you know our our friendship from being competitors and everything to being you know friends down the line and um you know it sucks but yeah i, I realized obviously we, some of us had known kind of behind the scenes for a, sh a short period of time um uh about it and we're kind of just waiting to see you know waiting for his family and and everything um uh i was fortunate enough to get to talk to his mom and his dad and everything and they're they're really very very nice and sweet and um i got to you know laugh and tell stories and stuff with his mom and it was you know it was very I don't know. I guess seeing seeing uh, you know seeing one the video and everything uh made things a lot, a lot more real. Um and seeing getting to see everyone you know uh say their uh um you know their words for techno and and everything and um yeah, I mean I I just it, it was interesting I guess from from my perspective after having found out kind of seeing everybody you know, just, just continue with life as if, you know, happy and all as if nothing had happened. And, um, it, it kind of, it, it made me realize that's, that's probably, you know, that's techno wouldn't want us probably to be too, too messed up over it. And, um, you know, would want us to continue and, um, try to make the, the most of, you know, our, our, our life and our friends and our loved ones. And, everyone around us and um yeah fuck cancer cancer's fucked 
Um, yeah, I don't know. I think that there's, I think uh, his family might do a, a charity uh, thing at some point. Um, but I, 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 I'm open to helping in any way I can and contributing and, and, uh, you know, donating as well to the Sarco Sarcoma Foundation um, and contributing in any way. Um, yeah, uh, I guess for you guys, yeah, I love you and um, appreciate you and make sure, you know, you, you tell the people that you love and those that you're close to that you love them because you never know. You know, obviously, Techno is the same, same age as me. You know, he's only like a m month or so uh older and so it's you know it can it can come at any point it's not like he he you know did anything it just it's just cancer is unforgiven heartless disease and um i don't know first thing i did when i found out was i called my mom and cried and told her that i loved her and um you know life is short so um, I don't know. Take take every, don't take anything for granted. Take every moment you have with, you know, the people around you and and all. Um, every every second and and don't, and don't let uh, don't let anyone tell you, you know, especially with with creators and everything. But just like, you know, that you can't be upset or that you can't you can't that you know you didn't you didn't know him or, you know, whatever. Like it's it's. People have, he had such an impact on everybody. I don't, I don't even have to generalize that. Techno had an impact on me, an impact on, I'm sure, a lot of you here. And um, you just can't, it, it, there's, I don't even know. I don't have, I don't have the words exactly, but um, yeah. Uh, try and be positive, um, you know, cherish the ones around you because you never know when they'll be gone. And, uh, yeah, I love you guys. Um, it's probably the only time I'll talk about it until, unless there's more stuff that, um, you know, from his family or otherwise. Um, yeah. I love you guys. You know, techno will be missed and, um, hopefully, you know, obviously never forgotten the impact he had will live on through me and through all his friends and all the people that loved him and cared about him, including you guys. So love you guys. Bye.